Well, here's a big debate. Activists say consumers are not even given a choice on whether they want to eat GM foods or not. There's no mandatory labeling in place yet, and there are several doubts, as we said, about health and biosafety issues. Brinjal, the king of vegetables, looks all set to become the first genetically modified food crop to be allowed in India. BT Brinjal will look exactly like any other Brinjal, except that it will have bacterial genes that will produce chemicals meant to make it pest resistant. Brinjal is one of the uh, vegetable crops where heavy pesticides are used. So by introducing these kind of BT technology into crops where pesticide use is very high, and if we can minimize the pesticide use, the spin-off benefit is that we don't contaminate our grounds and our groundwater. Several consumer groups and anti-GM activists, however, say there is no evidence to show GM crops lead to reduced pesticide use. Going through genetically modified route will not bring down any pesticide usage or pest damage. Cotton is a classical example. Critics of GM technology say that there could be serious health risks. The pros and cons must be publicly debated because this is a one-way road and at least 33 other genetically modified food crops including rice, okra and potato are in the pipeline. There are even intergenerational effects. Pregnant rats fed with uh, GM soya in this Russian study have shown that the offspring in the study group of rats which were fed with GM soya had higher mortality rates. But genetic foods are not new to the Indian platter. All import restrictions on genetically modified foods were removed in September 2007. What's more, Indians are not even being given a choice on whether they want them or not. There are no labels to allow you to decide whether you want to eat genetically modified food or not. The Environment Ministry has said ensuring human and animal health is not within its mandate, whereas the Ministry of Health has not managed to put in place the mandatory labeling requirement for any GM products being either imported into the country or produced here. So, the consumer's right to know, right to safety and regulation goes for a full toss. In Hyderabad, Uma Sudhir, NDTV.